Anyway, I got this compressor here. Uh, probably saw in the other video that it won't start up. Uh, for reasons unknown at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, ignore the wind behind me. Cut all the copper lines off, throw them in a scrap pile because it's, it's basically shot. It either seized up or it's stuck in top dead center position, which I've been told can happen even with new compressors. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can cut or grind away this weld here, just like I did on the other one. We'll open it up and uh, maybe this one will actually get to run under its own power. Now, well, as you can see, I got her cracked. Um, apologize for the wind. And now, crack this baby open. Windings look awful dark on this. If you look right here and up around the <clears throat> excuse me up around the other side, that's where those extra tubes went to. They they were just in the side of the compressor. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and yank these two lines off. If you take a look at those windings right there, they, they're really dark. But yet this thing still hummed. If I didn't mention this was an R12 compressor out of a Whirlpool refrigerator. Okay, let's see what we got here. That's an interesting looking one. It sure as hell locked up. Looks like it's got two little, uh, uh, what the heck. This looks like a rotary compressor. Or something like it. Um, this compressor is quite old. But that looks like a rotor here. This goes, ar goes around in a certain, um, this goes around in a certain pattern and these little uh, keys here slide in and out. Um, I'm no expert on it, but I'm going to see if i got a socket that fits these. Well, I got the other ring off. Um, took out those two star bolts. And I noticed this little port that comes up through there, if you can see that. It's almost completely blocked. And that came up here. And this is just locked. So I have a feeling, um, I have a feeling this compressor is on its way out even before, even before I took it. Uh, I only ran it a couple of times and I capped the lines off, so, you know, I have an old Tecumseh compressor, it's sitting in the cupboard. It's been open to the elements for years and it starts up every time. But, um, I'm going to try and free this little part up here. Okay, back again. Now that I got that out of the way, oh, I see the reflection. You look in the bottom there, you can see there's some metal shavings. And uh, somewhere around here, where is it? There's a little magnet that I found in there. It's got some shavings, but keep in mind I just ground this open, but I didn't grind this way I ground the weld that was up underneath. Um, so I'm just going to stick that magnet in there. And this motor is seized. So uh, before I go ahead and dismantle everything and all that happy stuff, I am going to go ahead and try and free that motor shaft and see if I can get it to run one last time. Okay. Well, freed the motor shaft, some. I'm going to go ahead and use my makeshift starting gear. I'm going to plug it in. And uh, she's running away. 
I'm just flipping that switch real quick to kick start winding in and out taking the place of the relay. Under normal circumstances on a good compressor you wouldn't want to do that, but this isn't a good compressor. We got it somewhat back together. It is worn. The bearing is completely shot on the motor. Um, the uh, when I go to tighten these down, the motor just stalls out and locks up. In fact, I even overheated and locked these bearings up once already. So it's pretty much shut. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up here. That's pretty much it. It's gonna sit there and spit out oil at me. I don't know if you can see the uh, top part of this draw down when I put my finger on the intakes. I'm still trying to pump. But if I even finger tighten these, that's what happens. Figured I'd start it up so you could see it run. I'm going to go ahead and tear it apart and uh, scrap it. Got no choice. Gonna try and figure out where to get another one. I guess this is some kind of uh, rotary compressor. If any of you guys know out there, let me know. I've never seen one like this before. Just for those of you that have never seen this compressor either. Just start it up without its head on. And you don't dare put your fingers or anything in there while it's spinning because those little, I call them chucks, are shooting out due to the centrifugal force on it. Just a few simple pieces, all to keep the food in your refrigerator cold. Thanks for watching.